Hi guys, it's Sam and I am starting to get ready for that party that I had mentioned in one of my previous videos. It's my boyfriend's office party and I had told him to ask the girls what they were wearing and they said summer dresses. I don't really have, in my mind a summer dress is a maxi dress or a floral print dress and I don't have that many of those. I tend to go for uh, solid color dresses and I want to share with you the, dr the dresses that I had uh, picked out. To, uh, to choose from and actually oops I forgot to put these up here to show you so the first thing is not a dress um, but I'm gonna show it in this video because uh, well the first three things are new and I'm not gonna make a separate video for it this is a kimono the brand is mango and I got it from JC Penny and I l love it it's a kimono but they call it a caftan and I think it's because of the material it's not like silky like usual usually kimonos are uh, so I got that and let me just show you the bottom it's really pretty okay so here is a new dress it's bar three it's striped but I think I can get away with it because it is a wrap style and the stripes kind of go diagonal but it's black so maybe it's not appropriate I don't know it's really comfortable I love the material it's very breathable and it's actually gotten temperature has gotten uh, not I don't want to say cold because it's definitely not cold but it's uh, not in the 90s anymore okay here's another bar through dress which is also new and I love the scallop detailing I feel like that's really popular right now and just a simple blue dress but I think it's really pretty and feminine and then here is all the dresses are from Macy's except for this one this is Eliza J and I know it's really simple but I kind of like that about it and it has pockets and this front here is I think it's really pretty so a lot of blue <laughs> uh, here is a dress by Splendid now it's probably the most summer kind of dress I guess uh, it's really pretty I love the colors but I'm not I'm not sure well I guess I don't have to say that I'm not sure about any of these dresses this is probably the one I'm gonna go for actually um, this is Maison Jules so I guess I am sure about this one I don't know uh, I like that I like styles dresses in this style where it looks like it's two pieces but it's really one and this is really flattering so I probably will go with that uh, then here is one last choice. It's a Vince Camuto dress. I really like it. It's fun. It's a lot going on, but since it's black and white, I feel like it's uh, doable for me anyway. Um, but I just don't... The top, my... I don't know. I feel like I would have to wear something over it, but that's because I'm a prude. <laughs> so, yeah, those are my choices. I gotta start getting ready because I thought I had a lot of time, but really it's very appropriate that I'm in a rush now so I will be get back after I take a shower okay so I'm out of the shower my hair is in this uh, Neutrogena triple moisture silk touch leave-in cream which I used to love but I don't feel like it works the same anymore not the point of the video I am starting to get ready to put my makeup on and I am going to use tonight uh, the a light layer of the Estee double Estee Lauder double wear a foundation with a beauty blender um, I just really like the way that my makeup looks after I use a beauty blender I just wish that I didn't have to wash it all the time but since I do wash it I forgot to wash it just once after I used it uh, but that's how I keep mine so clean and I never apply it directly on the beauty blender because I feel like it stains it more Okay, so I'm just going to start with that a little bit and then blend it in. I already applied a primer on my face and my eyes. And I don't want to put a lot of makeup on just in case. I, I'm sure the place is not going to be hot, uh, but it's still pretty hot outside and I just don't want it my makeup to melt off oh look my, my foot is because I have my charger connected it changed the phone there and I'm even going to use this for my concealer I want to use minimal products that are effective 
for powder, I'm using the Makeup Forever HD powder because I'm not sure if there'll be pictures taken tonight, but just in case, I just want to wear stuff that doesn't have a lot of SPF, although I think that Estee Lauder, it does, but oh well. I just want something light, that's all. And I'm gonna slight contour, not a lot. Don't wanna scare anyone. I'm gonna use the wet and wild one. Sephora brush is shedding. Okay, and I will put a little bit of that lighter powder underneath my eyes. For blush, I think I'm going to use one of my Instain Balm blushes, and I have quite a variety to choose from. I think I'm going to go with this pink one here. It is a lace. Just a bright pink. For highlight, I am going to go with my Hourglass palette and I'm going to take the one in the middle, which I believe is Incandescent Light, with the stipple brush. And just put that hat on my cheekbones. I still don't get the hype about this. You guys have to let me know how to use this right. And I'm even going to put that on my cupid's bow there. I do that once in a while. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner. Maybe I should use the pinky instead of my middle finger, right? I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with my eyes. I think I'm going to go for a neutral look surprise. Uh, just because I don't know what dress. I, I, I still don't know what dress I'm going to be wearing. And so I'm taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm going to take um, this brown right here. So I have a little bit of dimension on my crease. I don't know why I made that face. take the prestige eyeshadow in bewitch which is uh, such a beautiful color I thought that'd be really nice on the lid and I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna I am going to use my finger I just feel like you get the most payoff when you use your finger with this kind of shadow oh it's so pretty and I wanted to talk to you guys about which you probably would have seen from really popular gurus uh, I thought I had a problem. I was getting these notices from YouTube that they were taking down my videos because I know what it was. It was uh, misleading tags, but I, not being a very, you know, I, I love making videos, but I'm not popular by any means, which that's not my goal anyway. Uh, I'm not here to make money, obviously. And so I um, got these notices, there was like maybe 12 videos, and then I was just watching someone today and their videos were taken down, they had 300 taken down, so I was like, gosh, I could be in their situation, and really, and some of these people, you know, this is their job, and I felt so bad, because I did not, I'm not understanding YouTube policy of uh, take action, ask no questions, like, it's just so weird to me, especially for the popular people. Uh, you know, the more famous gurus, they don't even, you would think they're bringing YouTube money that they would ask them, oh, you know, you have to change this because it's not following policy or whatever. Uh, I think that's really unfair. And it's, and it's not fair to the little people either. So I just am not understanding what they were doing. And I don't think anybody is quite sure what was going on there. So yeah, I had a few videos taken down and I was gonna fight it and then I was just like, ugh, it's not, I'll just know from, from going forward that that's not what I'm gonna do anymore. Okay, for eyeliner, I'm gonna be taking 
I think I'm gonna take the Clio eyeliner because it is so long wearing. Hi guys, it's Sam. It's actually the end of the night, but I still wanted to come back because I didn't show you the outfit that I decided to go for and what my shoes and my jewelry and everything else turned out to be. And I had a really great time. It was, you know, it's always a little bit nerve wracking when you don't know these people and you're kind of like the plus one. So the people were really nice and the food was good and the restaurant, the setting was beautiful. It was on the boardwalk, which is of course near a beach. And I'm so glad that I went with the outfit that I chose, which is the striped dress, which I wasn't even sure. That was probably my last choice going into uh, when I picked out the dresses that I narrowed it down to. But first I wanted to just show you my makeup, how well it lasted. I think because I did light layers and it wasn't as hot as I thought it was going to be. Um, it lasted, that in, that uh, bomb blushes, the insane blushes, they are long lasting. I really like that. And I feel like the only thing I would touch up right now is my lipstick. Um, everything else held up really, really well. And the lipstick that I brought with me was Maybelline Color Blur in Cherry Cherry Bang Bang. Love those lipsticks. I think they're so comfortable. But they, uh, I mean, I drink coffee, water, sangria, A, and, you know, I think you do have to reapply if you do those things. Uh, and the purse I wore is this purse right here. It's a clutch, and I love it. It fits so much stuff. It's bigger than your average clutch, I guess. And you know what? Maybe this isn't a clutch. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is from A Thread, which is an online shop, and everyone always compliments this purse. They think it's high end, but it's really not. It's a gorgeous purse, and it added some color to an otherwise chromatic outfit. And my hair. Can we just talk about how much I love it? It is the perfect lazy girl haircut because even if you let it air dry, there's still some type of style and it can't get any better than that for me. I did add a few hair products in into my hair, but otherwise I think the haircut just lends itself to just being air dried and you're good to go, which is perfect for me. Uh, jewelry, I went pretty simple. I have these rings. This, these are my midi rings for my sister. I'm not sure where she got them from. This ring is from Club Monaco. My nails are uh, nude and as well as my shoes, which I'm going to try to stand up so you can see my whole outfit. Uh, but these are the Exhilaration Flats, Nude Flats from Target. Love these. And let me show you my outfit. Please excuse the mess in the background. I had to leave in a hurry, like I said. But here is the outfit. I love this dress. I know what they say about stripes and people who are a little bit on the heavier side, but I think because it's a wrap dress, this there's this, you know, kind of camouflage belt and then the stripes go diagonal, which I think is very flattering. So here is from the side and it is asymmetrical, which I really like that detail and the sleeves are long sleeve, but I rolled it up and it was perfect for a night at, at the beach. And there's my shoes and yeah this is just um i really like this outfit and i would highly recommend it it was very very comfortable I as i mentioned my room is a disaster area and i have a lot of cleaning up to do I, it always happens to me whenever i have an event i leave my room like a war zone okay so this video was not at all how i expected it to go but i hope you guys enjoyed it anyway and let me know what outfit you would have chosen for me if you could i hope you guys are all doing well and i'll talk to you soon bye